then we always ask our guests on the headhunter what are the top three aspects you look for or you hunt for so i i your next hire of course <laughs> yeah I, I think for 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 me um i i think it's a overrated by hire for attitude mm -hmm. genuine desire to do the job genuine desire to to improve um you know and and an individual's value see people talk about technical competence so the reason why Technical. I'm not even saying that you don't hire for technical, but it's the minimum entry requirement. So, and uh, none of us is perfect in our team. But if you are not fit, mm -hmm. right, from a values perspective, <laughs> and it's not my values, mm -hmm. it's organizational sure. values. Yes. Yeah. Would, you could be very good for another organization, but you will come here and yeah. the values of the organization clash with your values or the values you've built, and you'll be frustrated. It's more of a cultural, so a cultural yeah. fit. Yeah, you've got to get a fit. Sometimes you, people ask, why do you take number one, number two, and not number one? You, you know the team you're hiring for, and you've got to get a fit of a person who's going to be successful in that set. Sometimes you're looking for a disruptor. Mm -hmm. Team is too comfortable. Just wanted. <laughs> or to, yeah, get somebody to rejig and add some. Not oof. somebody who just comes yes, in and. Uh, the fix usual it. same thing yeah. across. Yeah. Paul, I, I, it, it really pains me that we have to get to the tail end of this interview because more and more, you know, there are lots of insights and lots of, you know, leadership nudges that you give. I would still want to have you on board. I hope we can have you again on the headhunter. To a last question now would be when that chapter comes or when that end, you know, comes of that book, which is the book of the Paul Russo at the helm of... of you know, uh, Kenya's largest bank in Asset Base. What, what, what do you want them, or what do you want the readers at the time to read about your leadership um, during your tenure? You, you're in the space of uh, executing at the moment. Um, on top, I've always, and, and, and not just for this role, um, I always want people to remember that I was a human being. Mm -hmm. And in every interaction, mm -hmm. there was humanity. That, that for me, then I can't trade off that. Mm -hmm. um, I can be difficult. Mm -hmm. I can be ruthless in execution. Mm -hmm. There's nothing personal. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, I just want that people can say, Paul, uh, thank you. It was okay. <laughs> we, we worked hard. It. Sometimes it yes. was difficult. Yeah. But you left my human side intact. Yeah. That, that for me, that will count. Those people give you water in the streets, as we say in our community. <laughs> and and uh, that's more important than anything else. Yeah. Numbers yes. will come, come yeah. with or without Paul, mm -hmm. but you'll be judged from your leadership point of view. Mm -hmm. Right? If you go and ask a teller, so how was Paul? And you know, I don't suppose mm -hmm. I would like them to say he was a leader, he was human. He was a leader at heart, and he also managed to impact myself as well. What a good place to end it. That's it. Paul Russo, Santisana. Thank you.